Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have another build challenge for you guys. And also, of course, another mega build. Now, this time for the challenge, I decided to incorporate water into the build. So what exactly did I do to actually do that? First of all, we have a small shipyard for repairing boats on the left side of the build. Second, we have a bridge on either side of the build, which actually allows you access to the build over water canals, which were artificially added. And third, we also have a central water feature that the entire base is centered around. Now I know, I know that some of you are thinking, hey, won't this base be underwater when waves come by? And yes, you would be correct, but that's only because I decided to incorporate water into this build. If you're here looking for inspiration, you don't have to incorporate water. You'll see in a little bit what we've got going on inside. You could put a nature sanctuary there, you could put a farm, whatever you would like. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tour. All right, so really quickly before we get into the tour, I did want to include a quick how-to section on this build since I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how I do things. So for this build, I wanted to have the main thing be the central water feature, and I knew I wanted kind of a nice symmetrical base built all around it. So what did I do? I started off with a massive square. This square has 30 meter long walls connected up by four eight by eight meter towers. Now once I had the shape of the build, I needed to go vertical. The first thing I did is I built up the walls. Now the walls, I didn't add any details yet, I just wanted to decide the height. So once I decided the height at a very large, I think about 10 meter height, I decided to roof the first floor, still no details on the walls, but I wanted to roof it so that I could go ahead and get an idea of where I could add the second floor. Now the second floor is of course still a square, it's just a little bit smaller and it's going to go much taller. I knew I wanted a few meters space between the first and second floor and so that's what I did and then I went ahead and built in the floor and added on the ceiling just like I did with the first floor, still no details on the walls. Now if you know how this base works a little bit, you know that the towers are actually just fancy staircases. So the next step was obviously to build up the shape of the towers and go ahead and add the bridges which connect directly up to the second floor. After that, I did all of my outdoor details, the harbor, the bridges, I brought the water back around the base and I added a shipyard Yard, and of course, I finished it all up with exterior details and interior details. I hope that helps a little bit. Let's go ahead and get into the tour. All right, let's get started with the tour here on the outside. In fact, I thought it would be cool to get started with talking about some of the water elements of the build, considering that is the theme. So here we are out here at the shipyard. Now the shipyard's pretty cool. It's actually just an old idea I had from the village build series, and I just kind of expanded on it a little bit. So here is uh, one of these structures to hold a boat. You can see it's four meters tall. It used to be just two meters tall. I raised the height so you could actually work underneath the boat. And then over here on the sides, we have ladders, which lead up to a walkway so that you can actually work on the boat from up above. There's also a small workshop here to do some repairs and also some wood storage here to make some patches in some of the boats. And you can see here that I even came up with a design for the long ship, which I had not done yet, but I think it turned out just as nice as the carbs. So let's go ahead and head this way where I can actually show you the second out of three elements that I did uh, to incorporate water into the build. And what I did is I actually took the ocean and kind of brought it this way around the build. And I did it on both sides. So the build is actually surrounded by water, three out of four of the sides of the square. As we head around the building, you're gonna see a lot of little details here and there that make you hopefully feel like you are on a dock or in a harbor. So there's some lighting, uh, but there's a lot of like little barrels, storage carts, 
cargo boxes from storage carts and different things like i said just to make you feel like you're in a harbor you can see the middle dock sticks out much further than the docks on the sides and i basically just did that because i thought it looked good you know there was nothing uh no technical reasons for why i did that as we come around this way we've got a few more little details here and there to look at and then once again like i said uh we've got another bridge which goes over the water that surrounds the build but that's that for the outside, let's head inside. Now on the inside, we've got quite a lot to talk about. First things first, you can see the tall ceilings that I hinted at earlier. As you walk in through the front door, I wanted you to immediately feel like you're in a massive building. So very tall ceilings right off the bat. And you also have these walls which are right here in front of you, which go around in the shape of a square, a smaller square than the exterior of the building, of course. And this wall contains the special feature in the middle, which we'll look at in just a minute. It also contains the second floor up there. These are actually the walls of the second floor way up top. So let's talk about kind of how this place works. You know, it's a square. It's got four equal sides. So that gave me four sides to decide something to do with. So as you walk in the front door, I figured storage would be very important. So you could take less trips, shorter trips to take all of your things off your boat. So the first wall is going to be a lot of storage. Even the towers themselves are used for storage and resource storage. You can see what I did though, is I tried to come up with kind of a clever way to hide the fact that this is all for storage. So I came up with a couple of different ways that I could make it seem like maybe a little closet here, you know, a little desk here. Uh, this actually doesn't have much storage, but we've got some tucked away storage up top. We've got a little desk over here, even on this side too, which has some storage uh, here and there. As you can see, the surprise in the center makes a little bit of noise, but <laughs> let's keep heading down the way and around the square on this wall we have kind of a little bit of a workshop so a stone cutter is here just for fun and then we've got a forge table set up remember i do have the infinity hammer mod so that i can place all these things however i want to next to the center feature this time we have a bench which honestly i probably wouldn't recommend sitting here with that right there but that's up to you as we head down the way a little bit, we have a workbench here, and we also have an artisan table set up, artesian table, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the second wall. Now, coming around to the third wall, instead of the towers in the back here being filled with resources or spaces for storage, there's a little bit of storage, but these became the small bedrooms. You can see that over here we have another bed as well, uh, and just a small little bedroom. But yeah, this back wall here is the only exit of the base which doesn't lead you directly out into water. Instead, it leads you out into the woods. This is kind of the cooking side of the castle. So here we've got stone ovens. We've got fermenters, beehives, a little place to sit and try your newly brewed ale or whatever you would like to call it. Uh, we've got a bench here by the serpent and an autosave. Oh my gosh. Uh, we've got a little space to sit here. Like I said, I don't know if I would want to sit here next to that thing, but it is kind of a cool idea to be able to sit inside of your house in front of a water feature in Valheim. Over here, we have a nice built... Okay, yeah, that that would that is a problem. You know, it is a problem that... Okay, so like we talked about at the beginning of the video, I made this whole build centered around water, but I think I'd recommend probably doing like a nature sanctuary in here, a farm, something else instead of this giant sea creature because that thing makes a lot of noise. But back to the kitchen, we've got a nice fireplace here, which you can see from the outside as well. Just a basic kind of fireplace. Here we've got a bunch of food on display, food on the go that you could grab really quickly. And now we're coming around to the fourth and final wall, which is kind of an extension of the workshop. You've basically got your completed workshop here on this wall. So that's pretty much it for the downstairs, except for the special center features. So the special center feature is really cool. We've actually got a live serpent here, which you can spawn with dev commands. You don't need a mod to do that. 
Um, and I don't know, I just kind of thought that this would be a really cool thing to have in the center of the base. You can see as we look up, we've got a massive building here, which is exactly what I was hoping to kind of get, you know, into the vibe of the build. Uh, just kind of like, whoa, as you look up, you know, if that kind of makes sense, I don't know. But yeah, we've got a serpent here down below, which you can stand here and watch do their thing. And yeah, I don't know, just kind of an interesting little space here to enjoy in the center of your build. But let's go ahead and head upstairs. Uh, we could use any of the four towers. They all have a staircase, which goes all the way up. You can see I alternated stone and wood for this staircase. And I'm just going to go ahead and fly really quick so that we don't have to deal with that. But now that we're here on the top, what to talk about. So first things first, I wanted to show you guys the towers themselves. Each tower has its own little theme. They're all very similar, but they've all got some version of a couple of tables, you know, a bench and a stool, another bench, some rugs to make them feel cozy. On the second one, we've got another bench, storage, a round table now, another place to sit. On the third one, we've got more tables, you know, just kind of a different format for each of them. But these are just supposed to be a place where you could just sit and relax and enjoy the views from up here in this very tall tower. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the towers. Let's head into the second floor. This place is awesome. We've got our central tower here, which leads up to the roof itself. And we've got kind of a... Uh, portal navigation type of thing. I love adding these into Valheim builds, kind of a separate build for your portal hub and also for like a cartography table and some extra storage and stuff like that. So that's exactly what I did. You can see we've got this central area here with a nice circle of deer rugs, which looks pretty cool. You can see you can just come out and enjoy the views, take a seat, whatever you would like. Now, the as far as the rest of the theme goes, you can see I kind of just made some nice little displays here covering the exits. Um, on the outside, we've got a different kind of look. And on the inside, I've decided to go with a more detailed look. So this is a two-layered wall right here. And the more detailed look kind of incorporates some stools and some banners and ekthir trophies, deer trophies, things like that. As far as the build itself goes, I've also included in some windmills at the last second to the roof since we're right on the ocean. I thought that would be really cool. And I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys how the roof kind of works a little bit closer up. You can see that the corners are just plain and simple 45 degree corners, which go up until they complete and meet together. And then the center pieces are just roof pieces that are raised up a little bit. That's it. That's the difference between the corners and the center. And it's the exact same design here on the bottom. I've got a few little extra features added here and there to add some variation and a fun little feature here on the top to make the top look kind of cool. But that's pretty much it for the entire build. All right, that is that for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, maybe leave a like or even subscribe. I also have a TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and a Discord. So definitely stop by any of those if you want. More coming soon. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a good one.